Striker Systems offers the shear nest solution for nesting rectangular blanks for guillotine type sheet metal shearing operations. A common technique for CNC punching operations is to shear part blanks to size and then punch the individual part blanks one at a time. You may have never considered part nesting for this production method, but it is worth considering the introduction of the Striker Systems shear nesting module as a means to optimize your shear operations. Striker system shear nesting reduces material scrap, increases part yield per sheet, and increases productivity on account of the easy to read and easy to follow shear layout report, which means that that material arrives at your sheet metal CNC machines faster than ever. In regards to supplying your criteria to the application, the production requirements may be keyed in through the Striker Systems SS Nest interface, imported through various CAD interfaces, Striker Part Share, by simply specifying the blank length and width, or a common delimited text file containing any necessary information can also be imported. This production text file can be the output of your scheduling software, or in this case, we'll simply use a file created through Microsoft Excel. We can see that I have columns set up for part X dimension, part Y dimension, quantity, rotation increment, and the sheet number that I want to be used for this particular order. With all of that populated, I'll save the production file as a common delimited text file and I'll name that file after my job number, in this case, 6000. From here, I'll simply return to my striker session and process the file. To do so, I'll go to the SS Nest wizard, and I'll modify my nest job 6000. From here, I'll go to the Import tab, select MRP files from the drop-down menu, and click on the import button where I can then select my comma delimited file using Windows Explorer and then click open to start processing the information within it. We now see our blank definitions added to the queue so I'll click on add to kit to officially add them to our nest job and then we're ready to calculate the layouts. When the nesting options dialog comes up I'll just make sure that sheer nest is enabled before clicking OK. Once the layouts have been created, I'll insert one so we can take a closer look. And we can see that the individual shear sequences have been color coded, sequentially numbered, dimensions and quantities have been applied, and that the layout is ready for printing. Also available within a nest wizard, we can view the nest report which shows the overall material utilization, the material utilization of each sheet, the size of each of the shear cuts, and the parts that are separated with each resulting cut. At this point, I would simply print off this information and supply them to the floor for processing. In addition to being a complete nesting solution for your guillotine shear operation, it is also worth mentioning that you can also upgrade your Striker System shear nesting module to include full, true shape part nesting as well, making it possible to nest rectangular sheet layouts for your shear operations while simultaneously supplying mixed part and full assembly layouts to your sheet metal CNC machine production lines. Following this presentation, you can find more details on specific nesting operations by viewing the material housed within the nesting sections of the Striker Systems Information Center.